you don't find that suspicious. I know some people like to say big hair don't care, but guess what? I care, because this is a lot of hair and I'm a little bit scared, okay? But one thing about me, I face my fears and my curl defining techniques are top tier. I'm talking no curl left behind. You came to the right place, the slate is not placed, so make sure you keep on watching. So this is how the unit from My Quality Hair looks straight out of the package. This is the coily curly texture. It combines the 3C 4A 4B textures and it does so seamlessly. But one thing I will say is that this texture is how it looks before you co-wash it because once you shampoo it, co-wash it and detangle it, the curls do relax a little bit more and you're left with something like this. And when you do detangle, expect some shedding. Now my quality hair brags about upgraded clear lace. So after I co-washed the unit and allowed it to air dry, I wanted to see what we were working with. So this lace is super thin. I'm telling you super thin, but it has great structure to it. It's definitely gonna last. And this hairline looks amazing. The knots are pre-bleached and they're super tiny. So it looks very, very natural. Like I'm in love with how this looks. They did their thing on that. But of course I love to do a little bit of customization to give it my own little touch. So I'm always just gonna do like, a little, I was a little extra, not too much, maybe just a little bit. And if you do decide to tweeze, you definitely want to be careful removing the shed hair. You can add a little bit of water to mist the hair and it'll just help to pull the shed hair out. After adding a bit of pressed powder and removing the adjustable elastic band, I tried it on and the hairline fits across my natural hairline so well. Like it provides, I would say like 95% coverage, which doesn't happen often. So that's a great thing for those of you who like, you find that your ear tabs stop a little bit short, but not with this particular unit. You guys have seen me install my wigs numerous times and one of the install products that I highly recommend is the hardhead spray. I mean, this is something that if you're scared of gel, if you don't like lace bond or you're afraid of like glue, this is a great way to ease into it. I think this is more beginner friendly, but one thing I will note is that I use this spray for the front or the center of the units because I do something a little different for the sides. And if you're someone who you like to take your units off after a few days, definitely look into this. It's not gonna give you that crazy residue if you're neat about your installs. And this is how lace should look on the skin. I think once you add the pressed powder or if you use a lace tint that's in spray form or even foundation, you have such a better match for your complexion. And again, if you're using the Invincible Styling Gel like I did, go get a makeup spatula. It makes all the difference. Now I'm the adult swoop queen. If you like cursive letters on your hairline, I can rock with that. You do your thing, it's not my thing. I like to do swoops, they're a little bit more subtle. They look more realistic and it's not overdone. We all have our preferences. I see you sis, okay? Do your cursive, do your Shakespearean vibes, but that's not really my thing. A Little bit more subtle, a little bit more reserved very natural looking and it works for me and i did want to point out you guys can see that the curls don't start exactly at the knots or the wefts there is a little bit of a bit of a distance before the curl starts but if you intend to flat iron it just know that it can accentuate that straight look but i'm not bothered by it because it all works out in the end now this is my second time installing the unit and this is no product on the hair. Because I was in the shower when I removed this unit, it got a lot of water in it so it got really big and voluminous and I know that sometimes volume 
it bothers some people like you don't want too much density you want to learn how to reduce it and one thing that you need to do is work in sections and make sure that when you co-wash your units you detangle them now with this particular unit you're going to get tangling but i got a little bit more shedding than what i'm accustomed to with curly units but because this unit is not your standard 100 density they say it's 150 percent density but this looks feels and wears more like 180 percent to 200 percent density but water is going to be your friend because you use that to first detangle and then i go in with the detangling milk by aussie this is going to add a bit of a luster to the hair it conditions the hair it hydrates it and it also just helps to further define and accentuate the curl pattern again this has that 3c 4a 4b and i really like how there's not like a distinct curl pattern you're going to get a little bit of different texture and coils all throughout so it just looks more realistic For my first honest impression, I wish that the curl pattern that the hair came with was the curl pattern that remained with the hair even after you co-wash and you detangle it. Because some people, based on pictures on the website, they could be expecting something a little bit different. And when you have such a curly unit, you can always expect to get tangles and sometimes more shedding. As much as I manipulated this hair throughout this entire process, it still has beautiful curls. It has a ton of volume. You're not losing out on density, but it will be interesting to see how this unit lasts. But again, your routine for your curls should require water so that you can detangle using your Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush, which I will link in the description box. And then you need some sort of conditioning, very hydrating curl milk. And I like to use Aussie products. So I use Aussie shampoo, Aussie conditioner, and the Aussie detangling milk because when you use products in a system, they work so much better. And this particular video is for those of you who when you purchase a wig you may not be clear on the curl pattern or the density and so when you get it you're shocked by the volume you don't know what to do this is for you because sometimes big hair can be super overwhelming and let me just tell you this unit with no product on it it's too much like it's way too much for me and i love big hair but when you use the detangling brush, you use a detangling milk to define the curls, it makes it a lot more manageable. And again, when you go to sleep, just put a bonnet on, put a nice satin silk bonnet on to contain the curls, wrap your edges or your hairline, and it'll be perfect. If you happen to check out my quality hair, you can use the code PINK10 and you can get money off your purchase again do i recommend them yes because this lace is top five on youtube like period they are some of the best that i have seen and their knots are so tiny and girl you cannot beat that but if you've shopped with them definitely let me know your experience because again i want to know that you guys are having positive experiences this is gorgeous we did a thing it looks good it went from big to it's still big but you know, we, we reduced that volume and gave it a more refined look. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, meet me in the comments, and I hope I see you in the next one.